Akuma stands as one of the most fearsome figures in the Street Fighter universe, embodying the essence of a nomadic kung fu warrior with an insatiable thirst for power. His aura of dark chi and relentless determination to surpass all fighters cast a shroud of mystery around him as he engages in intense battles with the finest world warriors. Despite his enduring popularity in the gaming realm, much of Akuma's enigmatic past remains veiled. What might these revelations unveil about the true nature of this formidable fighter? Without further ado, let me welcome you to the Fighterverse. Akuma's journey from his inception at Capcom to becoming the formidable warrior known for his gohadouken throwing prowess has been veiled in secrecy. Unraveling his past reveals his evolution from a novice fighter to the iconic figure he is today, requiring fans to piece together the enigmatic puzzle of his origins. Akuma's enigma extends beyond his origin story. He has made elusive cameo appearances and embarked on unconventional adventures that remain hidden in the depths of his character's history. Like for example, in this interesting fact from the Marvel Super Heroes vs Street Fighter video game. In an unexpected clash of worlds, the lone wolf Akuma and the zealous supervillain Apocalypse are thrust together like an oddball sitcom duo. With seemingly nothing in common, they're faced with an unlikely partnership when Apocalypse bestows upon Akuma the gift of formidable cybernetic upgrades, morphing him into the fearsome Cyber Akuma. The advocate of Darwinism recruits Akuma to be his herald of death, complete with snazzy robot power-ups, a trope as familiar as it is unexpected. This unique alliance unfolds in Marvel Super Heroes vs Street Fighter, as Cyber Akuma emerges as Apocalypse's horseman of death. Infused with technological might, Akuma's rocket arm and jetpack turn him into an even deadlier adversary, uniting Marvel's heroes and Street Fighter's world warriors in a battle against the enhanced menace. For when the already fearsome Akuma gains cybernetic supremacy, the stakes skyrocket, and the clash becomes a collision of worlds unlike any other. This iconic fact about Akuma is engraved in the back of his signature finishing pose. In the world of Street Fighter, Akuma's presence is simply unforgettable. That jet black yi, the blazing red hair, and those imposing prayer beads combine to create a visually striking character that has captivated a dedicated fanbase. Yet, among all these iconic elements, there is one that takes the spotlight. The crimson kanji adorning Akuma's back. From victorious poses to the aftermath of his infamous raging demon move, this symbol has etched itself into a Street Fighter lore. It's not just an embellishment, it's an integral part of Akuma's essence. So what's the story behind this kanji? The Japanese kanji in question is Ten, signifying heaven, an intriguing choice for a character with such an ominous aura, right? But there's a twist. This very same kanji can also be interpreted as beyond human. Now, isn't that a perfect fit for the legendary martial artist who straddles the line between the mortal realm and something far more extraordinary? When Akuma wants to challenge himself, he doesn't care if the challenge is either in heaven or hell. Like for example, in this next amazing fact, Akuma's relentless drive is singular, to reign as the ultimate force. But what if that fiery quest hit an unexpected roadblock, a shortage of adversaries? Would contentment settle as he claims the Senate? Could he embrace a life of serenity? Well, buckle up because his answer is a curveball. In the crossover clash of 2003, SNK vs Capcom SVC Chaos, Akuma's tail takes a jaw-dropping twist. With Earth's challengers conquered, he charts a course skyward, eyes set on the divine. Picture this, there's God engrossed in TV. What does Akuma do? He challenges the Almighty to a celestial brawl, an audacious punch-up with an eternity on the line. As the scene fades, the ultimate showdown looms, defying expectations and leaving us hooked. Did you guys know that there is a big robotic version of Akuma? In the vibrant universe of Street Fighter, Akuma's presence transcends, making appearances in a plethora of Capcom games. But imagine this, a mecha-centered combat game, Cyberbot's Full Metal Madness, where Akuma's stature could be overshadowed. An improbable cameo, right? Wrong. Capcom, the masterminds, refused to be stumped. In a stunning twist, they unleashed a colossal solution. Behold the birth of a titanic robotic Akuma. Picture it. This exclusive Japanese mech fest, Sega Saturn 1997, port, and there, cloaked in secrecy, emerges Zero Goki. Behold the colossal amalgamation of Akuma's might in mechanical form. His signature moves, a symphony of power, raining down on skyscraper sides mechs. Whether as human or as a machine, Akuma's dominion knows no bounds, forever reigning supreme on the battlefield. In this fact, let's just say that Akuma goes a bit insane. In Akuma's relentless global odyssey, fighters deemed worthy are his quarry. But here's the twist. His definition of worthy isn't just human, it stretches to the animal realm. Akuma's once socked the bear square in the face. Not your everyday sparring partner, right? Enter the tale of Ryu Final, 
The manga Titan. A young Ryu craves the Ansatsugan art, seeking none other than Master Gokan as his mentor. But this martial sage isn't your average sensei. Imagine Ryu facing off against a bear, a showdown destined to be a lopsided beatdown. And then, in a flash of pure awe, Akuma steps in, driving his fist through the bear's mug, unveiling the might of the Satsui no Hado. This moment etches itself into Ryu's memory, a legendary bear punch igniting an indelible connection. Ryu and Akuma's paths would part, but the power-packed punch would forever reverberate in the world's warrior's journey. I mean, isn't everything about Akuma evil and crazy? Check this other fact out. It might change your mind about him a bit. Akuma, the battlefield's malevolent maestro, the Satsui no Hado's relentless wielder, an embodiment of demise. His name resonates with all, his power unmatched, etching his place as Street Fighter's legendary juggernaut. Challenge him, meet only defeat, but hold on tight because there's a twist even for the almighty Akuma. Behold the unconquerable selfie. Picture this, Ultra Street Fighter 4's Elena, the vivacious capoeira marvel from Kenya. Her ending unveils a worldwide journey of battles and bonds, where foes turn into friends. In a world with montage, Elena's arm in arm with Blanca and El Fuerte. But here's the piece of Resistencia, a shot with Akuma. Yes, the same Akuma peace sign and all, captured in a selfie. Who'd have thought the devil succumbs to the selfie trend? And there you have it, folks. Hope you enjoyed all of these interesting facts about Akuma. Which one of these is your favorite? Let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on new theories and info. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the center stage.